Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Norville. This edition Stop Stories. Government curtails all non-essential expenditure as COVID-19 cuts into the local economy. The Ministry of Health warns against the laissez-faire attitude in the public following the recovery of COVID-19 patients. And the retail price of petroleum products continues to fall. Hello and thank you for joining us at the Information Command Center for the National Response to COVID-19 as we bring you the latest developments. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney on Sunday, April 26, 2020, addressed the nation providing some insight into the economy amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. He noted that the government has to fast-track a number of projects, including the opening of Owen King EU Hospital, so as to ensure that St. Lucia was able to respond to COVID-19 once it breached St. Lucia's shores. The measures implemented globally and preemptive actions locally have had the dual impact of decimating the economy, especially the tourism sector, which in turn has had wider spillover effects in other sectors. To survive the impact of COVID-19 over the next few months, more stringent cash flow management is required in addition to fiscal prudence, including a reduction of all non-essential expenditure. Once we get through this phase, we can begin the next, which is stabilization. This will see the phase reopening of our economy, which has already started, and later the gradual opening of our borders to global travel. This phase is expected to be between June and September of 2020. Whilst we don't expect to earn pre-COVID revenues, we will need to continue to meet salary and debt commitments and hopefully to allow for additional spending in high priority years. An assessment of the situation will be conducted ahead of this phase to gauge the impact of the changes in the global economy on our local economy. It's only at this point that a short and medium term strategy will be developed and input from all major sectors of the economy will be sought on economic stimulus. An economic recovery committee has already been put in place with, which comprises of the private sector council, the unions and the opposition and all parties have already been advised. The Prime Minister said that given the economic strains currently confronting the country, tough but necessary decisions must be made. He explained that the offer made to civil servants is that part of their salary will be paid in cash and part will be paid in an interest-bearing bond. But this applies only to staff in grades 7 to 21, who are the higher income earners. Everyone else at grades 1 to 6, including pensioners, will be paid in cash and allowances as usual. This represents more than half of the civil servants. Those at grades 7 to 21 have been offered part cash and part interest-bearing wage bonds for a period of three months. However, everyone will be paid in full. A wage bond is similar to a fixed deposit redeemable after a year at a fixed interest rate of 3%, which by the way is 1% above the current savings rate. This offer, if accepted, will allow us to keep some cash on hand to pay debt and to cover other emergency expenses. The end of March represents the end of government's financial year, and when we were expecting a windfall from income tax payments, not only we've not been able to receive these, but we've had a massive unexpected expenditure due to COVID. We can't afford to default on our loan obligations because the repercussions for our country will be severe on all of us. COVID has dealt us a difficult hand, and we're doing the best that we can to get through this. All we're asking for is a little time, three months to be precise. That was Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney. And Chief Economist in the Ministry of Finance, Janai Leos, has indicated that government revenue has experienced a dramatic drop with the ECCB and IMF projecting contraction of the economy of up to 18%. Leos made the comments a Sunday as he participated in a live panel discussion on the economy amidst COVID-19 on NTN. Typically in the month of April, the government would have earned just over a hundred odd million dollars in, in revenues. For the month of April as at, um, as at Friday, there about, we are seeing that we have collected just under $37 million. We had estimated that we may get in the region of $33 million, and we have collected $37 million. 
So if you were to compare that to where we were in 2019, which was $112 million, we have seen a 60% decline in our revenues. Um, we are expecting something similar in the month of May, May, and we may see something similar thereafter as well. So in an environment where you are seeing your revenues fall by 60, almost 70% in some instances, there are definitely going to be challenges going ahead. But notwithstanding that, the government has worked with development partners to try to, as much as possible, ameliorate some of these revenue issues. Chief Economist Janai Leos. Meantime, in keeping with the published pay dates for 2020, the Department of Finance has informed that public service salaries were posted and paid as scheduled on Thursday, April 23, 2020. Due to the partial shutdown of business and social distancing protocols issued by the Ministry of Health and Wellness, the Accountant General's Department has been operating at reduced capacity. Recognizing the limitations and stress on the system in processing of the payroll, ministries and departments were notified in advance via email on March 30, 2020, that new salary assignments would not be processed except new employees, hours for daily paid workers, terminations, no pay and end of contract. Although the Accountant General's Department operated a rigorous work-from-home schedule, it was recognized that the processing of overtime and other allowances that require on-site manual intervention and data input would not have allowed for a timely completion of the payroll. The Department of Finance assures that there was no intention to short pay the hard-working public officers, nor was it a covert effort on the part of the Government of St. Lucia to cut entitlements. Additionally, the situation is in no way related to the ongoing discussions between the government and the public sector trade unions. The Accountant General's Department has given the assurance that the allowances will coincide with the May 2020 payroll. This is NTN Nightly. Stay with us. Wash them right with soap and lots of water. Get between fingers, get under the nails, go above the wrists. Do this for no less than 15 seconds. Rinse properly. Dry with a clean towel. If there is no water, do the same washing motions with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer containing at least 70% alcohol. Wash your hands. Wash them right. This message brought to you courtesy the Bureau of Health Education of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Welcome back. The construction sector on Monday, 27th April 2020, reopened after weeks of closure due to COVID-19. The decision approved by the Ministry of Health was guided by the 100% recovery of COVID-19 patients here. However, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says St. Lucia is not out of the woods and everyone must adhere to the protocols. From testing carried out during the period April 21st to the 24th, 2020, of 60 samples are all negative. We note that this is a result of our collective efforts of our health professionals working collaboratively to manage our cases and the sacrifices made by the public during the period of shutdown. Though this 100% recovery rate provides us with a milestone worth recognizing, we at the Ministry of Health continue to caution the public that any signs attained should not be understood as a reason to let down our guard or to throw caution to the wind. We are implementing our national response to COVID-19 epidemic and as such, we should collectively remain focused and committed to reducing the spread of the virus. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George. In keeping with changes in the international oil prices and government's application of the modified market pass through petroleum pricing mechanism, the retail price of gasoline, diesel, LPG 20, 22 and 100 pound cylinders has changed. The retail price of kerosene remains unchanged. The price changes take effect from Monday, April 27, 2020. Gasoline decreased from $13.09 to $11.50 per gallon. Kerosene remains unchanged at $7.15 per gallon. Diesel decreased from $12.91 to $11.92 per gallon. The 20-pound LPG cylinder decreased from $28.44 to $27.24. 
The 22-pound cylinder is now $29.96. The 100-pound cylinder is $158.51, down from $170.24. The next adjustment of the retail price of fuel products will be on Monday, May 18, 2020. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with the NTN Nouvelle, a Creole. Coronavirus? I am worried, Gasser. It's only old people dying from that. Hold up. Being young does not mean being safe. Yes, it's true that the elderly are at higher risk, but anyone can get the virus. The effect is even worse if you have a chronic condition like hypertension, heart disease, lung disease, and diabetes, or weakness in your immune system. If you are living with these conditions, be extra careful. Wash your hands with soap and water. Use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol when hand washing is not possible. Avoid touching your face. Take steps to boost your immunity through proper nutrition, exercise, rest, and take your medication as prescribed. Limit being around people who have flu symptoms, even close family members. Our health is in our hands. Together, through simple actions, we can stop the spread of coronavirus. This message was brought to you by the Bureau of Health Education of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle, a Creole. Monsieur Terre Janelle, Monsieur Madame, Department of Kinewes Cosability, Way Formation and Gouvernement Setlesi, the CGIS, and CVP Television National PIA NTN, Kapuzato Nouvelle and Creole, Kapuzato Primus Hutchinson. Premier Minister Honorable Alan Chastney, Jafayon Appel, for Pepea, Mawe Wenyo Wede, Exipote Gouvernement, for Kotune Bataila, Kot Maladi Corona, for Sove Economy, Setlesi. The way on address dimanche passé pour Nation, Premier ministre Chasney, fait public la comprendre ces démarches là que le gouvernement a pris depuis que la maladie a commencé à menacer le pays là. Pour te protéger mon pays, et tiens, Premier ministre Chasney fait public la comprendre qu'il était nécessaire pour établir un fio pour placer le public là en sélection. Le gouvernement fait possible pour que le monde servi masse à Fijayo. Porté, yon sans docteur hot pays Cuba pour assister pays. Divers équipements pour traiter et tester moun. Rade de protection pour faire assurer que les professionnels médical sa conduit travail et puis toute protection qui nécessaire. Premier ministre la, réfléchit même le peuple la, que le gouvernement établi confiance et puis distance sociale, mais après ça, le gouvernement tenu pour fermer pays pour 24 ans de temps. Tout ça est nécessaire pour protection de cette liste contre maladie de corona. En bas, tout le pays qui l'hôpital Owen King a porté et aussi dépense à l'hôpital Victoria. Le gouvernement, quand même, tenu pour vite placer en opération pour quitter l'hôpital Victoria servi comme institution de santé pour adresser les gens qui peuvent tomber malade, malade à résultat de corona. Le Premier ministre a déclaré que, en bas, tout le pays 70 millions de dollars pour continuer au pays au Winking et 35 millions de dollars pour Victoria car continuer au pays. Ça c'est continuer au pays. Selon le Premier ministre Chasney, le gouvernement a placé à l'ordre de 28 millions de dollars en budget pour adresser ces nécessités. Le nouveau Premier ministre a déclaré que le travail à l'hôpital saint jude a bien avancé et puis l'assistance du gouvernement Taïwan. Il n'y a pas ça Ce qui aller en assurance nationale, c'est l'assurance nationale pour aider, faciliter les gens qui sont malades pour servir l'hôpital Owen King. C'est déjà un plan pour venir en opération en mois de juin l'année ici. Et le Premier ministre Chasney fait comprendre que les venir en réalité, tout ce qui est en position pour trouver un premier service de santé. Alors, je m'en ai fait aussi pour Wellness Center et Polyclinic, on pourrait en façon pour assister à la menace de la maladie de Corona. Le Premier ministre Chasney dit que la Corona a affecté l'industrie touristique pays sérieusement, côté il a déroulé force financière en toute 
l'autre secteur pour réseau ça là pour l'autre c'est moi pour venir gouvernement ni pour prendre des marches sérieusement pour stabiliser l'économie cette ici et qu'on réduit à ce tout service avec des dépenses qui pas nécessaire depuis ça fait depuis des gros succès qui gouvernement ka gardé yo ka commencer préparer pour deuxième phase programme là pour essayer replacer économie cette ici à sous pour vie replacer comme on dit euh économie cette ici à sous pied encore témoin vite mes mesdames pour coûter pour continuation à ça là à son adresse premier ministre là à sur l'autre programme Directeur des affaires et implémentation en bureau premier ministre là qui aussi c'est un assez officier qui est responsable pour ça qui est responsable pour commander des opérations à la maladie corona madame Nancy Charles explique qui ça ça là ni plusieurs officiers technical et professionnel pour gérer opération de voyons une discussion à son entier madame Charles dit que plusieurs officiers gouvernement quand les secrétaires permanents et directeurs des finances en parmi membres de secteur privé et public qu'a formé ça des commandes des covid covid 19 ça là selon directeur des implémentations ça là ni responsabilité pour faire assurer que toute affaire en nord avant pièce action pour coup les venir pour opération your business si on institution a vous doit conduit opération enfin n'importe secteur à pays ni pour trouver bénédiction cette sala avant yo même ça prend pièce décision pour conduire affaire yo madame charles servi par exemple magasin hardware ça qui ca vendre outils de travail et ben n'importe l'autre business cette là ni pour faire assurer tout affaire en nord avant ça veut dire distance sociale et ni qui quantité monde qui peut entrer en place business ça là aussi bien situation wasco pour pour tuer de l'eau et uh, préparation pour ces cyclones dans les dans les qui avait avec l'année ça là ça des commandes là ni pour acide et discuter ou pour qui est trouvé et après vous fait recommandation à ce ça qui possible et ben pas possible avant secteur ça là commencer opération so nous dire pour garder toutes ces décisions ça vis-à-vis de l'eau c'est un bail qui bien critique because pour mm-hmm. gourmer covid-19 au brisin de l'eau on est pour mm-hmm. de l'eau puis nous garder monde laver la main toutes les mm-hmm. quoi nous tenir pour garder décision ça et puis dit si nous fait si qui ça qui gaille fait et puis si nous pas fait si qui ça qui gaille fait et puis à sous ça de nous ca faire recommandation et puis nous faire recommandation pour dire nous ca ouvrir ces hardware store pour bail mon chance pour yo ça gagner um, ces petits bail là yo brisin pour gagner water tank yo Madame Charles explique aussi raison qui derrière décision pour permettre magasin SNS pour vivre ouvert et offert service li. Et puis là nous garder ça a dans ces bagailles là côté ko SNS et ces différents histoires ça ka vendre. Yo ka vendre un chai bay qui ni pour faire et puis plombine, un chai bay qui ni pour faire et puis nettoyer, yo ka vendre un chai en bay comme savon et puis différents bay comme ça. Et ces bay ça c'est bagaille moun brisin en gourmet Covid-19. So là nous fait ces décisions, ces décisions pas ka garder à ce moun et ben qui business mais décision ka garder à ce qui impact au verbe ni sa ka ni an le peyi a et ki manye ka aide cette lycien pour yo sa pli ajouter mm-hmm. a sou décision sa ou ka ya pou se dat ki nou pa an moun ki aime western di dan chai nou aime western do nou aime ay do moun aime em gen ti bagay yo so nou te hani moun an di dan 24 hour curfew pou presque an whole semaine et c'est après ça nou réaliser après semaine nou réaliser moun ni pou ale do moun ni pou ay gen manje moun ni pou ay gen bwè mais patèt an moun la la ni di fon bay moun ni pou fan kayo pou exemple pitèt an louvez te kwase an bay te kwase an tile te pété an ti bay ni pou fan kay la so c'est pour raison ça nou pou considérer toutes ces bagages ça là et puis den pou faire recommandation pour faire décision pour ouvert qualité business et qui qualité business pour ouvert. Et monsieur mesdames, ça c'est côté nous autre bout de nouvelle aujourd'hui là. Mon cœur monsieur autant pour qu'à garder. Mon cœur voyons invitation. Je ne puis moi encore c'était quand ça fait la vie. Les gars présente toi l'autre nouvelle à quoi là. Pour ça, mon cœur vie présente au général. That brings us to the end of NTN nightly. 
Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.